the little gems that people do on the four corners of their eye and it's supposed to be magnetic. Wow. It's supposed to be hypnotic. Wow. Do you see my leg? And she says, ma'am, your card has been declined. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna be doing tonight. You can't take me seriously, but I'm about to have a massive transformation. You know that TikTok that's like, you may not be ready for the day, but it can always be night. And then it's like the music, and then you show your transformation, when in reality all you did was like put on some makeup and like a cute dress. That's what's happening today because I'm going on a date. I'm going on a date. Welcome to the bathroom. I feel like I haven't done a lot of vlogs in this bathroom because there's an echo. An echo, an echo. I feel like the last bathroom was better, but this bathroom, I feel like I'm just having a conversation with myself. Which is kind of every vlog, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me to go on a date. Now this is not a weekly scheduled date. It was a spur of the moment date with my fiance because uh, some stuff has been going on and I'm gonna get into all of that. This is gonna be like a girl talk slash date night slash get ready with me and uh, featuring my hair sprout. I found this nifty gadget on Amazon and it's supposed to give your hair volume. You clip it onto the butt crack of your scalp and it's supposed to sprout up. This reminds me of like one of those cat water fountains when your cat's not drinking enough water so you buy them one of those like water fountains on Amazon. That's what I look like right now. But before we get started on today's date makeup, I just wanna say, are you watching on your phone? Now what happens if you're laying on your bed watching on your phone and all of a sudden you drop your phone off the bed? What if you drop it on a hardwood surface, on a hard thickums surface? Is your phone gonna be safe? Is it? Is it? Well mine is because I use case to buy phone cases. Let me tell you. When you go on Amazon and you look at these protective phone cases, I feel like, are they really even that protective? They also don't look that cute. They look like you just put your phone inside of a brick. But with case to buy phone cases, I never feel like that. I just got a new iPhone 13. I immediately stuck a case to buy phone case on there because I know I'm so clumsy. It's almost like I wouldn't even turn on my iPhone 13 unless I got a new case to buy case because I'm that clumsy. But with the new case to buy ultra impact cases, even for the iPhone 13, you have two layer construction of Chi Tech technology, which means that you can drop your phone from up to 9.8 Feet in the air. Do you know how hard you have to try to drop your phone from 9.8 feet high in the air? Okay, I believe like 5'2. The Ultra Impact cases are also wireless charging and 5G compatible. And on top of that, the Impact and Ultra Impact cases for the new iPhone 13s, they're made of 65% recycled and plant based material, which is insane. So now you're envisioning. I know you're thinking of something. You're like, oh, I kind of already got an idea of what it's going to look like. It's not going to look cute. It's going to get the job done, but it's going to look cute. You're wrong. Case Defy has over thousands and thousands of different prints, different colorways. You could customize your own case to have your initials. Maybe you do a photo collage with you and your best friends. You could have like the cutest phone case. I feel like it's a great gift, especially with the holidays coming up, to gift like a photo collage of your face to your significant other. Like they do massive collabs with like brands like KFC, which is the phone case that I have on right now. Their impact and ultra impact cases are also BPA free, 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. They also have an antimicrobial coating, which means that it kills 99% of germs. If you're gonna get a new iPhone 13 or maybe you just wanna protect your phone or you're like, my phone case is so ugly and it doesn't protect my phone at all, make sure to check out Case Defy linked in the description because if you go to casedefy.com slash mango, you can actually get 50 15% off of your new favorite phone case. Listen, your phone is missing out. Your phone's gonna thank me. And you can watch comfortably knowing that your phone is safe. Thank you, Case to Five, for sponsoring today's video. And let's get into the, well, my face. <laughs> You're like, wow, Stephanie, you just started getting ready like five seconds ago, didn't you? You just sat down five seconds ago. No. I actually started getting ready 30 minutes ago. I washed my face, I put on a vitamin C mask, I went into the shower. Let me show you what happened in the shower. every inch of my body. Every square centimeter that is on my bod, shaven. Oof, no hair. Hairless. A seal, I tell you. So I'm gonna show you that, because I feel like you need to see. I just want YouTube to know that I am wearing clothes. This is a dress. This is a full size, maybe not a church dress, but I can wear this to Trader Joe's, so I'm not naked. I gotta wet my body, but not my hair. So I'm gonna put shaving cream 
I'm on both of my arms and both of my legs because I haven't gotten on a date in months. So I want my arms to be slippery soft. I want them to feel like a baby seal, just basking, glimmering. That's a lot of shaving cream. I need to use that for my arms. I don't know what I was thinking. I look like I'm wearing sleeves. <laughs> I look like I'm wearing a cast. Have you guys ever broken your arm? And then you have to wear one of those really bulky casts. Like not sprained it because you can take those off. But when you have to wear those actual casts that's like paper mache that they mache onto your arms at the doctor's office. And then when you get itchy, you gotta stick your chopstick in to itch it. But you smell the chopstick. And it starts smelling a little dank in there. Do you see my leg? Look like I got knee high socks on. Am I gonna take off this dress and shave other parts that are probably pertinent to going on a date? Yes, I am. Before I shave, I just want to say there's nothing more embarrassing in the history of your life than doing this stuff. Do you guys go to the salon to get a pedicure? If you don't, like me, if you don't do that anymore, you, just on one leg, trying to maintain balance, scraping, sandpapering the dead skin off your foot is probably the nastiest look I've ever received in my life. Okay, one day, my fiance walks in, I'm in the shower, all glass walls. I'm just scrubbing an entire toe, an entire toe of dead skin off my foot. I need this. You look so happy now that you moved to Atlanta, now that you're back with family. Now, this is very true. I'm not denying this. I'm not arguing this. But I've, I've seen, seen some shit. shit. I've seen some shit in the past two months that I've lived here. So the past couple of weeks, my fiance and I have been fighting. I don't know if we've been fighting more than usual. I feel like we've been fighting the same amount. But maybe, maybe because we always have people around, I feel like... Maybe we're fighting a lot, I don't know. I just I was like, am I fighting with him a lot? So I'm overthinking all of these things. And then it was like something was in the air. I don't really believe in this, but the fact that I sat there during a family gathering and Googled Mercury and retrograde, what are the dates? Means something fishy was going on. Pretty much every single couple in our family was in a fight at the same time. I think two couples got into a fight on the same day and they were at our house. So I'm thinking, is something wrong with this house? Is there some voodoo in this house that I don't know about? And so I keep asking around, like I like to be a meddler, not really, but I was, I was just trying to make sure everyone's okay because they're in our house and I don't want them to like, I don't know, kill each other because then that's my butt on the line, right? I'm putting on a, a pumping gloss. I don't know if it actually pumps anything, but I just like to put it on in the beginning before I do my makeup. So if it's gonna plump, it's gonna plump now. Is it gonna plump? Probably not. So I'm hearing all these fights. They keep telling me, well, this is why we fought. Well, this is why they fought. Like for my sister and Andropa, for example, they got into a fight, not a big fight, okay? Everybody fights, no big deal. But they get into a fight and I don't know how this turned into a family-wide thing, but my dad gets involved in their fight. He never gets involved in their fight, but this fight, I don't know why, he just inserted himself. Then my mom gets involved because my dad's involved. And then of course, they somehow drag me into it. So I'm like, okay, okay, you know what? Maybe I will be the mediator. I'm like, I can do this, I can do this. And it works, right? So I'm asking both of them, like, what's, what's going on? Why are you guys fighting? And the whole thing that just kept coming up was it felt like everybody was having different fights. Like it felt like one person was fighting about this and another person was fighting about this. And that's not even just the only couple that was getting into a fight. There was like a bajillion different couples in our family that were getting into a fight. And it seemed like no couple was on the same page of why they were fighting. And I'm not saying, wow, I'm above that because I'm saying the minute that I'm hearing this, the minute that I'm experiencing this from an outside perspective, I'm like, that is probably every single fight that I've ever had with my fiance. We're not even having the same fight. And then like, I feel like all the couples when you're in the fight, me and my fiance included, you feel like it's like such a big, big obstacle. You're like, how are we gonna overcome this? But now that we've seen it from the outside, we're like, wow. All of our fights are dumb. None of these are serious fights. Like, you don't love me, you don't show me love. Like, it's nothing serious. It's genuinely just like bickering. And we're like, that's the same as our fights. 
it puts in a new perspective. I feel like we gotta we gotta go on a date. This was actually my fiance's idea because he felt like, you know what, in order to offset this weird energy that's going on with all these fights, we have to go spend some time with each other. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I actually don't know. I think I'm assuming we're going to a dinner. So I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna do my makeup the same way. And originally this was supposed to be, well, I had thought that I was gonna do some sort of girl talk in this one. But I will say, I'm not that anxious since I moved. I feel like I did a lot of girl talks in the last place because I was so anxious about so many different things. I just had so much security anxiety. I don't really have that since we moved in here. So I don't have an anxiety update. Don't get me wrong, I still have a lot of anxiety attacks and some panic here and there, but it does help to be around family. At least I feel like worst case situation. My sister lives like 20 minutes away. I got other family members that live like five minutes away. Like Tiffany, Jen Jen, they live like five minutes away. So it just feels like worst case, I have someone I can call in case of an emergency. Feels a lot safer, I think. I'm trying to do this soap brow trend. I, I used to use soap, but now I'm using this, what do you call it? Oh, that's so dirty. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills like clear brow. It feels like cement glue. It feels like I could build a whole house and set it with this brow gel. It's really thick. Your brows will not move. I'm going for a natural look because I don't know what the plan is. So I'm just gonna keep it casual. Oh, and that's not only the weird thing that's been going on. We've had a little bit of a roach problem. Hear me out. It's weird. So we allegedly have a roach problem. Now guess who's the only person seeing these roaches? Not I, not my fiance, my mom. I don't know what it is, but she has seen, I wanna say five roaches since we moved in, and me and my fiance, we've seen like practically none, like maybe one or two, but really nowhere near as how much my mom has seen, and she's getting frustrated. We've had the pest control guy out here, I wanna say like four times in two months, and every single time, it's because my mom's like, I saw another roach again, right? And my fiance's thinking, did she really? Like he's not questioning her, but he's like, where are these roaches? What do they look like? And then the pest control guy, when they come, they don't just say, where'd you see it? They wanna know what they look like because every roach is different. So apparently there's, there's like the really infestation roaches. Is that gross that I'm talking about roaches right now? I'm sorry. Okay, now I'm using this to kind of fill in my brows a little. Anyways, the pest guy wants to know what the roaches look like because there's the infestation roaches which look a certain way. Apparently they're a little bit more red. This is really gross. Apparently they're a little bit more small and like really fast and red. They're like a bright red color. Not bright red, but you get it, like that reddish color. Then we have a lot of trees in the backyard so there's something called like wood roaches which he said those those aren't really infestations. Like they try to get into your house, but a lot of the times it's like by accident. So during the winter, they go to heat source, which might be your house. But most of the times, like during the summer months, which it has been usually, it's just an accident. So if it's the wood roaches, then you're good. You're just, a poor little roach got lost on its way to the date, you know? But if it's the infestation roaches, you got a big problem. So every single time he'd come, we'd say, we don't know. Or we'd say, Oma, what does it look like? Oma, what's kissing yourself? Like, what does it look like? What does it look like? And she'd be like, oh, I don't remember, like, this big. And then the guy would be like, what color? And she'd be like, oh, I don't remember. So then the other day, I'm in the office, and my mom approaches us with a little Ziploc. You know those snack-sized Ziplocs in her hand? And I'm like, oh, maybe she's giving me snacks. So she walks over, and she says, I found a roach, another dead one. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, like where? Did you clean it? What do we do? Like, do you want me to look at it? Should we take a picture? And she holds up the snack bag Ziploc and inside of it is the dead roach. <sighs> my mother had put a dead roach and I asked her, I asked her specifically, how did you get the dead roach in the Ziploc? Because I mean, regardless of if they're dead or not, I just don't imagine a roach being like, you know what, this seems like a nice home. Let me live in there. Let me suffocate myself in this plastic Ziploc bag. How did you get the roach in there, ma'am? And she told me that she used chopsticks. She saw a dead roach, she picked it up with chopsticks, put it into a Ziploc bag, closed it, and she's saving it. And I was like, wait, why are you saving it? And she's like, well, I have to show you guys because I want you guys to see what kind of roaches I'm finding and then I'm saving it for the pest guy. So somewhere in this house, I have a Ziploc bag with a dead roach in it. I also have a Ziploc bag with like 100 fake roaches in it and hopefully those don't get confused. So I'm using a little contour stick. Do you guys even care? It's the same stuff every time. And I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit. Not a lot of it, but a little bit. I gotta be ready in 20 minutes and I gotta do my hair too. Hold up. Oh no! 
And I'm just gonna try to speed through my makeup while I make fun of my mom some more because tell me why this lady is just embarrassing herself all week and I feel like I can't tell you in front of my mom. She's just gonna have to see this video. Side note, for people that are sensitive, she doesn't care, okay? She really doesn't care, it's just a funny story. My mom went to go eat with her sister and her sister brought her son and his wife, so that's like her nephew and her niece-in-law, I guess that's what you call it. So they all go to dinner together and it was at this like Korean tofu house. Now side note, here's the thing about tofu houses. They're really cheap. I wouldn't say they're cheap, but they're more affordable. I think you could get like a sundubu soup for I think maybe $8, so that's the price of a chipotle. It's not cheap, but it's not like the fanciest thing in the world. So they go to this tofu house. My mom hasn't seen that ne nephew. My mom hasn't seen my cousin. Why am I making it so complicated? <laughs> my mom hasn't seen her nephew in a really long time. I think he briefly stopped by for the gender reveal, but they haven't like sat down and had a conversation in a really long time. So she's like sitting there, she's like, oh, you know what? You you pick whatever you want on the menu. You, you eat whatever you want, my nephew and my niece-in-law, because today it's on me. I'm gonna pay, are you guys getting where this story is going? <laughs> so my mom is like, it's on me, get what you want. You want the kairi? Freaking get it. You want two different tofu soups? Each get one and share, you, <laughs> you know? So she's like hyping them up. She's like, imo ga sajulke, imo ga sonda, which means like, a, it's a very aggressive, fun way in Korean of saying like, I got you, I'm gonna buy it all for you. So they eat. They finish eating and the check comes. And like my mom said, she's gonna pick it up, okay? And it was about like, I wanna say like $70. It was the four of them eating absolutely everything that they could on the menu and it was $70, which is which is pretty good. So she puts her little card down. She's like, yeah, I, ca I can't believe I'm buying you dinner. Like it's been so long. The Korean ajuma, the waitress comes back and she says, ma'am, your card has been declined. <laughs> after all of that, after sitting there being like, I got you. Order whatever you want on the menu. Get the beef ribs. Get the beef ribs, dude. Her card gets declined. So everyone's kind of like, oof, my emo, my aunt is like, oh, I got it, it's okay. And so my mom, I mean, she's so shocked. She looks at the waitress and she said that the minute that these came out of her lips, she was even more embarrassed, but she said, but why? But why did my card get declined? And the waitress looked at her and in Korean goes, 아니, 그건 제가 모르죠, which means, how would I know? So my mom's even more shocked, right? And she just feels so embarrassed. And I think that she was trying to, she was trying to make up for that embarrassment. And she said that the minute this escaped from her lips, she never wanted to go back to this restaurant. She is banning herself from this restaurant. She said, but I just deposited a check. <laughs> my mom did deposit a check that day. Don't know why she said that, but I had given her my card to take out because I don't know what the thing is with my mom, but like she likes to use this like Korean bank. And sometimes I feel like it has trouble at different places because like I don't know what the deal is, but it's like a Korean bank. She had my card, thankfully, but she's like, no, no, no. I, I definitely just, you know, deposit a check. And the waitress looks at her in front of everyone and goes, well, I guess it hasn't cleared yet. So then my mom's even more embarrassed and she, she's trying to prove that she has money in the account. Not a lot, but she has money for tofu soup in the account. So she's like trying to pull up her bank. <laughs> she's got her phone out. She's trying to log in, trying to show them the balance. And she's like, no, no, I have a balance in here. And the waitress is just not having it, which I don't blame her. And she's just not having it. And she's like, well, it didn't go through. It declined, ma'am. Like, get it through your head. It declined. So my mom had to go into her purse and dig out the card that I had given her for emergencies, and she paid with that. And when she got home, she was crying in embarrassment. She had never been so embarrassed, and it was all her fault. I think the embarrassment was less of the fact that her card got declined, but the fact that she was like, But why? <laughs> she was like, but I just deposited a check. <laughs> And then the fact that she like tried to bring out her phone and log into her bank to show my evil that she had enough money for tofu soup. I was freaking dying. <laughs> yeah, so she's been crying about that. I swear, something weird has been going on, okay? Maybe it's been that it's been a little bit gloomy here. Oh, by the way, I'm using a ColourPop. I just like to do a pink eyeshadow. You know, I used to only do brown eyeshadows and then I was like, do what your heart desires. And my heart always desires a nice pink color. So now I do pink on the crease and then kind of a little bit, I drag it down. Listen, I'm not a makeup guru, you don't care. I just kind of do a little bit at the bottom, especially because I've been having styes. I probably shouldn't be doing makeup at the bottom, but it just kind of 
makes my sty disappear a little bit. Then I blend it out before I go in with a purple shade. I'm gonna see on this. Oh my god, I gotta go in like 15 minutes. I was gonna give you guys a tour, but then I realized, look at how messy this place is. I think that I showed you this that came in. Then I have just all of my makeup in here. I have my skincare in the vanity over there. This is my fiance's vanity. You're wondering, why is his vanity bigger than mine? Shouldn't mine be bigger than his? Well, no, because the toilet is right next to his vanity, and for some reason, I feel like that equals fecal matter on the toothbrush. We used to be throwing our laundry hamper, like our, our dirty laundry in here, but then these that I ordered right when we moved in just got in, and they fit perfectly behind the bathtub, so you can almost, kind of almost not see it. You can still see it, but I'm trying. If you see the light change, it's because I've gotta leave in 10 minutes, but I need to do my hair still, so. You wanna see the makeup? This is what it looks like. I tried to do the, I saw on TikTok the little gems that people do on the four corners of their eye and it's supposed to be magnetic. Wow. It's supposed to be hypnotic. Wow. Attractive. You can't resist. Wow. That's what I'm trying <laughs> for this date night look. So I added those on, I have some lipstick on, I added a ton of blush, and now I have to do my hair in five minutes. I'm gonna show you an up close and personal B-roll to the hair. I feel like I don't do anything different. And that's why I don't like to do these like get ready with me. I feel like everyone's like, okay, I feel like one person is like, drop your skincare routine, drop a get ready with me soon. But I do the same thing every time and it never changes. So the same with my hair. I just part it in sections. I got some heat protectant up in there. I like to start with the one that has the most hair because then I feel like I'm not even just 50% through when I'm done with one side. I feel like I'm 65 and that gives me motivation to finish the rest. My hair it's not as voluminous as I would want but I think it's because normally I do my hair in the morning right after I wake up but this time I waited until nighttime I had my hair tied the whole day but we're just gonna have to go with it it's a little bit more voluminous on the side than actually up which is what I want this always reminds me of when I was in high school and I used to have the frizziest hair and I used to get made fun of it maybe I can change it to my clothes while doing this so that it just kind of pumps it up a little bit okay I'm late already so let me go change let me show you the full outfit review I was just gonna put on another pair of like the regular stuff that I was always been wearing but I have my cute little loafers, my shiny black loafers, and then I've got these mix match socks. I'm wearing a cute little skirt from Shop Cider and a white button up with a pink bag, a bubblegum pink, and a headband. Okay, let me call. I told him to come into the room. Honey, can you come in? I am ready oh, for my day. You look cute. Really? You look cute. Oh, you look good. Thank you. Okay. Come on, we're late. Okay, can I show off your outfit for a second? No, Wait, can you come right. here and give them an OOTD? You look good. Okay. This shirt makes your muscles look big. Okay. <laughs> Where are we going? Too early, okay. Where are we going? Too early. Oh, we're going to Chipotle. So, At Chipotle, he yes. said. The place that doesn't take reservations. He said, Wait, I need to grab a mask. Where are we going oh, for real? Remember, KFC. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? I do. You do? Yeah, let's go. I do. Yay. <laughs> the lighting is a little bit better here. Let me show you guys the fit again because I'm really proud of this one. Do you guys see the black loafers kind of matches this? Which I wish this was a tiny bit tighter, but that's fine. We got the mix match socks. The black, yes. We're yeah. going to get sushi and we got to hurry. Okay, make sure to check out casefromy.com slash mega to get 15% off your new favorite phone case. I'm going on a date! <laughs> Bye. Okay. That's what I'm going to be doing tonight.